Hi Floss Tube. Welcome to my channel, Crafty Cat Stitcher. My name is Kathy and this is video number 71. Today is Tuesday, June the 21st, 2022. The first day of summer. Happy summer everyone. If you like that, I do. I happen to like summer a lot. Um, this channel is mostly about cross stitch and occasionally you will see other crafts that I do. Today it's all cross stitch. So, um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad that you found my channel somehow. Um, if you're new, leave a comment. Let me know that this is the first time you've seen Crafty Cat Stitcher. And um, if you're coming back, thank you very much for doing so. I am so glad you found something here you like and you want to come back and visit with me. Um, I appreciate all your subscriberships and your comments and I hope you keep leaving comments for me because I love them and I read every single one. Just want to let you know that. Um, today is hot <laughs> and sunny and um, which is summer <laughs> so um, but I have gotten a lot of stitching in in the last few weeks since I've been here and it's kind of, you know, I'm kind of like, kind of surprised. I don't know why. I think I've, you know, I do have a little bit more time at this time of the year. So that's great, you know, and I got some unexpected stitching time yesterday. So that was great too. Um, I am going to be celebrating five years on Floss Tube this month in June. And, um, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, way back then in 2017, I had no idea that I would still be doing this. And for me, 70 videos is 71 videos plus is a lot. And um, I, it's still a little weird talking to my camera, but I think, it, I think that I'm okay with, I'm a little bit more okay with it than I was in video number one. <laughs> yeah. That's a little strange to start out. So I applaud all the new floss tubers out there who are giving it a try because I know exactly what it feels like and I know every other floss tuber does too. So, okay. So my stitching. I started, let's, let's start with my whips. Let's start with that because I have quite a few this is what I stitched yesterday when I found myself with unexpected stitching time. Luminous Fiber Arts Gathering Acorns. Okay. Now, the reason it was unexpected is because at work right now, it's super slow. And I've gotten the okay to bring in cross stitch to do when there's nothing else to do. And, you know, there's still things I have to do. I still have to, you know, answer phones and deal with clients and, um, and, you know, and do, do some things that I do there. And, but this is, June is just a really slow month. So I actually worked on that a little bit. I got a lot of this pumpkin, this little section here, finished. So I'm doing this on, I don't know, I, I have a lot to improve, um, especially remembering what kind of fabrics I'm using. I think that this is a luminous fiber arts fabric. I think it's 32 count linen. I know that. And I'm stitching it with um, Gentle Arts in the color terracotta, which is beautiful. In fact, I just ordered more because I started getting a little bit scared that I was going to run out. So I got some more, and I'll talk about that later. So I did that yesterday. Over the weekend, I brought out Rainbow Row, and that's by CW Designs. And there it is. I got this chart from my son and daughter-in-law when they visited Charleston. And then I went and visited Charleston because I had to see those houses. And, whoa, 
there's like a Aaron's needle in here that should be mm. okay. I'm stitching this on 32 count white jobelin with all the call for DNC. And the section I'm working on, as you can see, is the yellow house. And I said, I'm building a house. So there it is. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, this section here, the greenhouse and part of the blue, is actually one completed page. So I got that done, and then I did all the back stitching on it. So I'm doing the back stitching as I complete the page. So there it is. I love it. It's beautiful. It's big. It's probably one of my, it is one of my bigger projects. <clears throat> and I, whenever I show it, I like to show the floss box that goes with it. There it is. It's like, I think it's like 60 something colors. There we go. There it is. It is a nice project and I really like working on it. I chose the exact right fabric for it for me, for me. And um, that's gonna be amazing when it's done. That's not gonna be one of those ones I frame myself. All right, so I also worked on Owl Forest Embroidery Coffee Sampler. That's it. That's pretty cute. This is another big project. So I'm stitching this on Lugana. It's um, 36 count Lugana, I think. It could be 36 count Jobelin, but I think it's Lugana. And I tea dyed it. I should have coffee dyed it, right? But I did a lot on this. I'm going to put it up closer to the camera. I'm doing it all in the DMC colors that are called for. Isn't that pretty? Oh, the hard things for me, for some reason, and you, they don't show up super well, are these little swirls. I don't know why. Whenever I stitch one of those things, I get... I'm off by a thread, and that's hard to do on Lugana. It's not like I'm stitching it on linen, but it's coming out really good. The fabric's showing up way lighter than it is, because like I said, it is tea dyed. But isn't that cute? So it's another big project that we're done. I don't know why I'm picking all these big projects to do. So um, I had stitch day uh, two Saturdays ago, and I worked on Jingle Jolly Joy by Luminous Fiber Arts. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I did a lot of snowman that day. I got these done. These are finished. Um, I'm stitching this in... Is it... I think it's all DNC. And I'm stitching it on the um, fabric. It's a 32 count linen in the color Colonial Parchment by Fabrics by Stephanie. I love this. And one of my sub commenters on, this vid on a video said, well, why don't you make it into a bell pull? I said, this is perfect. My, I really want to get this done so that I can make it into a bell pull and then hang it up at Christmas. But I am so happy with the way it's coming out. I mean, look. Now, um, Misty at Luminous Fiber Arts has a Halloween one coming out. And I know she's doing it's like she's doing it as a mystery sal. So if you're interested in that, go over to her web page and check it out. And um, I think right now the frame is available and then she'll make one piece of it available at a time and so you can stitch along okay um i know i showed this last time american coast by chussy and me so cute it's a kit 
It came with the fabric. It came with the floss, silk floss. And I don't know how much I showed you, um, but this was just in my whips. So I guess maybe I worked on it a little tiny bit more. And if not, I apologize for a rerun, but it's okay. You don't mind seeing this again, do you? So cute. I really love it. Now, in this chart, there is a boat right here. It's over one. And this is 36 count fabric. I have never done that. The smallest I've, well, wait a minute. No, that's going to be the smallest I've ever stitched. So, wish me luck. But this one's going to go away for a while because I've got to keep, I like to, I'm, I'm rotating as you can tell. So, all right, my last whip today is Cardinal Points by Long Dog Stitcher. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I'm stitching this in all the call for floss and it's all gentle arts and the colors in this are amazing. They are magnificent, beautiful. Yes, look, I got a lot done. I did a lot. It, it probably doesn't look like a lot, but I, I really did a lot on this. So, and yeah, I know I have to put the intent, the back straight stitches in for the antennas on the little butterfly. Is he a butterfly? Yeah. So cute. I'm stitching this on 36 count white linen. I love it. I know. I'm a slow stitcher, and but you know what? I'll get it done. I'll get it done, right? So, let's see. Oh, I had a finish. I have finished. And I don't have it with me because it's my ornament for Cindy's cross stitch or Christmas ornament exchange. And I've sent it off. I wanted to get that to the mail because I got it done and I was really happy to get it done because it, you know, it was one of those things, you know, like I said, I'm a slow stitcher and I just wanted to make sure it was in the mail and she got it in time. So, um, I stitched an ornament from the 2009 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Magazine. As I showed you last time, and I'm going to show you which one it is. It's called Snow Mary, and it's by Homespun Elegance. I finished it as a flat ornament. And I'm going to insert some pictures. I've got a back picture and a front picture, and I'll, I'll put those in right here. So that's the ornament, and I'm just really happy that I finished it, and I'm excited to see what happens with this exchange. And I want to thank Cindy for um, organizing it and doing really all the work, because she's doing it all the work for this, except the stitching, right? So, okay, so that was my finish. I got finish. It was so much fun. I think in a future video, I'm going to show you all the cross stitch that I have completed that I have not FFO'd. I need help. <laughs> I really have to figure out how to finish some of them and then actually just take the time to do it. And um, that's going to be coming up. I watched a new floss tuber to me and this is one that um, I'm really happy about because she does her floss tubes with her two daughters. They're twins, and it's called Stitching with the Twins. Her name is Tiffany, and her daughters are Ainsley and Addie. And they are so enthusiastic about stitching and about what their mom is doing. And it's just really kind of a joy. It is a, it is a definite joy to watch because um, it's hardly, I mean, I don't see that kind of enthusiasm for crafts in younger kids too much. So... This is so exciting to me because it's like, well, you know, they're 
they're taking on this craft that we love and enjoying it so much. So please go watch them. They're, they're really special to watch. Tiffany does a lot of different projects. Some of the ones that she's doing, I either have done or I'm doing. So it's really fun to watch. So go over to Stitching with the Twins. You'll enjoy it. Um, last month, I started a new segment in my videos called Craft Room. I did, you know, I think I called it something else, but I showed my Mr. Peanut Jar and an ore holder that I have. I'm just going to call this segment Craft Room Curiosities because they're just those special things that I have in my craft room that I really like. And just kind of, you know, it's just those little things that you have that just bring you a little bit of happiness, a little joy, you know. And this is one. It's a flower frog that I'm using as a scissor holder. So usually, you know, I know a lot of people use flower frogs for scissor holders, and usually what you find is a clear glass top that um, is intended to be put in a vase or something, but usually it's a top and you put it on something. And I, ha I do have two of those, and I have little glass bowls underneath them. Um, but this one was, I think, very unusual. I found this at a antique store, like one of our little, you know, on antique stores, not anything serious. And it really, and I think I paid eight dollars for it. But look at it, it's like all ceramic and it's it's all one piece. So I have not seen these very much. Or at, at until I bought this, I had never seen one like this. So and it's a really cool color. It's like sort of a teal. And that's it. That's that's my craft room curiosity for this video. I just wanted to share that. So, um, I have a few new things. Um, I made an order to string theory needle arts because mainly I wanted to get, and I talked about this a little while ago, um, Gentle Art Terracotta, because I need it for that. Um, Luminous Fiber Arts Gathering Acorns. So I got that. I got a big 10-yard one. But um, she was having a sale on Gentle Art Threads, so I got a budget, and I stocked up on some threads I didn't have. Me, I just kind of said, okay, this is what I'm going to spend. And I just got one week's for another project, but the rest are all general arts. So, you know, that was fun. It's good to take advantage of the sale. And that worked out well for me. Um, also, I got a tiny, I bought a tiny kit from Nikki's Creations on Etsy. She, I'll put a link to her shop. Was she on Etsy? I think. I don't know. Uh, mm, she has a website, and I will link something below. But I got this. Is, it's Pin Kitty. Couldn't resist. So cute. It's a little orange cat with some flower with some flowers, and it kept, the little kit came with. Fabric to stitch on, a backing fabric, some um, sheer ribbon for a bow, and an adorable charm. So it was a little splurge for me, but um, I'm going to tell you, she shipped this real fast and came from Italy, so um, yay for her. If she could do that, that was great. So that is Pin Kitty, in case you're interested. There it is one more time. He's adorable. Yeah. Um, I also ordered from Shepherd's Needle in Arkansas. I ordered um, Brenda Gervais 
it is Land of Liberty. It's very cute. And I love the way that's finished. And I ordered Little House Needleworks, the Liberty Silk Pack, which comes with the silk and a chart. How pretty. I just love the way that looks. It's very, very simple and sweet. And um, I can't wait to stitch that. I think that's going to be a quick one. All right, let's see. Um, I got some happy mail. Oh, and I want to thank Anne. I did not get Anne's permission to use her full name, so I won't. But she sent me a card and just, just had the nicest words in it. And she sent me a couple cute little stickers and a little scissor charm, which is adorable. So thank you, Anne. I appreciate getting just a little happy note in the mail. It was really nice. Thank you. All right. So. Oh, we have a giveaway winner to talk about. All right, so our giveaway winner, I talked about this last time, Luminous Fiber Arts, a Bluebird Salute, which I stitched and made it into a flat fold, and so it turned out really good. I think it was my, was that my first flat fold? It might have been. It's out now. I. It's been out for several weeks. I just, this is the time of year to put this out. But um, I thought this would be a fun little chart for somebody this time of the year. And because I'm also seeing bluebirds in my yard. So cute. We had, we, our little bluebird family had four babies. And my husband got to see them fly from the nest. And... I only have seen this once a long time ago, and if I can find the picture in a future video, I will post it, but one of the baby birds, this was like maybe five years ago or so, one of the baby birds flew out and then flew onto my screen, and I was, I was able to get a close-up picture of the baby bluebird, and he doesn't look really happy about being kicked out of the nest. But anyway, um, they're my favorites. They are very plentiful this year. They're, uh, I don't, the bluebird population around here must have exploded because there are so many and they're so beautiful. But I'm going to tell you who won this. Carla Rowley. Carla, you won. I'm going to put it on this side. I think I'm blocking some light when I do that. But Carla, I will comment on your comment. And then you can send me your mailing address. I'll put Bluebird Salute into the mail for you. Okay? All right. So I actually have another giveaway. This is one of, this is going to be a small giveaway. Well, you know, it's this, it's my normal chart giveaway. Um, for my fifth floss tube anniversary, I'm going to have a bigger giveaway. Um, probably in the next video. So just stay tuned for that. Um, but, for, but for today, because also it's butterfly season, I'm going to, I'm going to give away this booklet. This is, um, Cross My Heart Ink Butterfly Collection. And all those butterflies are included. Every, a chart for each one. Yes. They're great charts. They're big. Big, giant, magnified charts. I mean, huge. And they call for DMC. And they're in the, in the uh, neighborhood of 40 by 28. So they're small, quick stitches. So if you would like to win the butterfly booklet, just say butterfly or butterflies either one um if you want to talk about seeing butterflies in your yard and like i said we're seeing a lot of those too there's 
I mean, along with the bluebirds. So, um, if you'd like to win that, butterfly or butterflies, there's cats running around. Um, please be at least 18. And do not say giveaway or drawing or anything like that. And um, just be prepared to watch for your, because how I do it is I comment on comments. And that's how I get in touch with you. So unless I have your email already, which in this case, or in most cases, I don't. So um, Etsy store is doing pretty good. I have listed some new things. I've got more things to list. i um, got some works in progress for thread keeps. <laughs> little cat. There's a vintage peaches. Um, you know, these little like a delft blue. These little guys, these are really pretty, these ovals. And um, I will be also listing soon. And like I said, these are um, in progress. As you can see, I don't have them on anything yet, but I'm gonna be working on those this week. Um, little tiny needle minders. Let's see if I can get that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to focus in on that. These are so cute and tiny, but they're good needle minders. So I have yet to put the magnets on but there it is there it is so um there's also right now in my shop there are quite a few scissor fobs and needle minders and um no there's only a couple needle minders right now i'm sorry i got distracted by a cat who pushed her way into the room and is trying to look out the window which the blinds are closed, so good luck with that. If she comes over here, she can be in the video, but she doesn't look like she's going to come over here. Let's see, maybe she will. Okay, but in my shop right now, I've got um, a lot of scissor fobs and thread keeps. And there are some cool bee scissor fobs. I'm going to be adding some also patriotic ones soon. So watch for my Etsy store, and I'll put the link below. Okay, so plans. Um, I'm just going to keep stitching because I'm kind of on a roll. And I'm going to keep doing that. And um, when I can take stitching to work, I will take stitching to work. And hopefully get a little bit done there. Just a little. Not a lot. But that'll work. Okay, so then I will see you in about three weeks. And update you and what's going on and, and there's a kitty and maybe I can get her maybe she can be on now come here nope oh, and she left all right so all right so I hope you have a good few weeks of stitching and um, leave a comment if you would like I'd like to hear from you and um, if you also are inclined please go over to my Etsy store I'm going to put the link below and um, stay cool if you are in a cool place in a hot place and I will see you in about three weeks happy stitching bye